<laughs> so yeah, there's a lot going on, uh, and at least right now, it looks like very little of it will affect us directly. Okay, so that's the way it stands this morning, and I emphasize that because these long-term forecasts are not written in stone, as we have seen. All right, let's jump in here and show you what's going on. We've got uh, Tropical Depression 9 in the Gulf. Obviously, that is the big news. Drier weather pattern here, at least over the next couple of days, we'll see fewer than usual thunderstorms, and we should experience seasonable temperatures all week long. All right, so the very active tropics include a Category 3 hurricane in the Atlantic, Gaston. This is a very well-organized storm. Major hurricane, 115 mile an hour winds, and it shouldn't affect anybody. It should stay out in the Atlantic waters and not be a threat to land. So that's the great news about Gaston. This is Tropical Depression 8. They have tropical storm warnings up for the Outer Banks of the Carolinas. It likely will brush the coastline and then turn back to sea. But our focus is on Tropical Depression number 9, which formed yesterday near Cuba and is now near the western tip of Cuba with 35 mile per hour winds in a few spots. Westerly movement at 9 miles per hour and a fairly high central pressure. In fact, this is a really badly organized storm. It has to survive the situation it's in right now for the rest of this forecast to play out because there is a chance it may not make it any further than it is right now. But assuming it does, and there is a chance that it will, it will find itself in an area of quieter air and it will allow this system to stack up a little better and then become a little more powerful, perhaps tropical storm Hermine, and then move toward the northeast into the Big Bend area of Florida. Now these track forecasts change. I will say at least now the computer models are in much better agreement than they have been in a long time that this will be the case. All right, so here's what's going on right now. If you were to try and find this storm, you would have a hard time doing so because the center is up here north of Cuba and all of the convection, that is the clouds and the thunderstorms, are on Cuba or south of Cuba. It's not well organized at all. It's being sheared. That means there are winds in the upper atmosphere that are separating the top of the storm from the bottom of the storm. And unless it can stack up, it has a hard time intensifying. So that's why I say if it survives the sheer environment that it's in right now, then yes, all the rest of that forecast will likely play out. But if that forecast plays out as the Hurricane Center has it today, today, maybe not tomorrow, but it would lead to drier weather here over the next few days. All right, we've got a uh, pretty easy commute this morning. Maybe a few foggy spots, but haven't seen them yet. They may be out there just because temperatures and dew points are close together. As you see here, 74 degrees at News 5. First forecast for today is a quiet one, starting out with 78 degrees, ending up at 91 for a daytime high with a 20% chance of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. That's a little below average for rain chances, and we'll keep that through the middle of the week. And unless Tropical Depression 9 gives me a reason to change this forecast, I'm going to stick with fairly typical late summer weather for the Gulf Coast right through the Labor Day holiday weekend with a 30% chance of scattered afternoon thunderstorms each day.